Good morning. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I am going to just walk you through um, my kind of daily makeup routine and what that looks like. And so first I'm going to use, I've already cleansed and uh, moisturized. And so now I'm going to use my Mary Kay foundation primer. I need to go like that much. And whenever I'm putting lotion-y type things that have to go everywhere. I pat, rub it in between these fingers and pat it all over. It does have an SPF 15 in it, so be careful because if it goes in your eyes, it doesn't feel good. Okay, so that is going to um, basically makes your pores look smaller. Uh, lines and wrinkles appear smaller, fills in any minor imperfections, allows your foundation to go on better, use long, wear longer, last longer, use less of it. So now I'm using my Mary Kay Matte Wear Foundation and I'm actually blending two colors right now because I'm kind of in between. Again, on my fingertips like this. So much easier to blend when you've got it all over versus you're trying to blend little dabs, right? And also my sleep in a stick under eye corrector. taking my Mary Kay foundation, liquid foundation brush, and I just start to blend them in. So it's hard to tell in this lighting, but you want to make sure that it blends with your neck. Okay, so next I take my Mary Kay translucent powder and my powder brush. This is the powder foundation brush and just take a little bit and I don't go all over for me. If you were oilier, you would. I'm gonna just go the middle. And then I'm gonna use our mineral powder and I use a darker color because I'm literally just putting it in here. Kind of almost like a contour. Oh, that's exactly what it is. It's just my lazy way of contouring instead of taking the time to do all the, you know, I've done it with concealers before and then you have to like blend it in and all that kind of stuff, which is really awesome. But when I'm just on a regular day-to-day -day running errands and dropping kids at school and all that kind of stuff, or if it's like six in the morning and I'm getting kids out the door, then that's what happens. Um, I'm gonna use my, oh, you know what I forgot? Um, then cheeks. So Mary Kay powder, or cheek brush. Miracle Makeup Finishing Spray. Sets everything, makes it last all day, 16 hours. So now what I'm doing is 
I'm using our cream eye color in beach blonde. I use this every day. It's waterproof, smudge proof, you name it proof. It makes an amazing primer for your eyes. Like as an eye primer. Oh, look at that. The lighting is better if I get closer. So it just really brightens up your eyes. Okay. And I am going to, this is my lash primer. I just put it on because it needs to dry. Are you put anything else on? So now I'm going to take my this is gold status. Mary Kay's new Chroma Fusion eyeshadows are gorgeous. Zero fallout, 12 hour, amazingly beautiful eyeshadows. So if I'm doing a super quick, just dash out the door. I would just do the cream eye color and liner and mascara and that's it. But now I'm using Rustic. So I do this technique every time. I just choose different colors. So it always looks different and people are always like, oh, your eyes look so great. And it's the exact same thing every time. So this basically goes into your crease. So just depending, you wanna make sure when you, you're looking like this and doing your eye makeup and you can see lots and there's always lots there. However, when you tilt your head like normal, can you see it? Only if I do this, so that means if when your eyes are like this and you can't really see it, it means you need to take it up a smidge higher so that when you're looking straight ahead at somebody, well, your eyeshadow doesn't disappear. Okay, so next I'm using Merlot. And I love a girlfriend of mine. She always says, when you're doing your eye makeup, especially if you're doing any amount of it, it often will look like a hot mess until you do liner and mascara. So if you're at that point, don't be afraid. No judgment until your liner and mascara are on. And then you can decide. So I'm using more of a, um, what does this say? Oh, this one's a crease brush um, of the Merlot. And then I'm just gonna take my brush. I'm just gonna Ooh, shake the bone. Blend it in. Okay. Okay. Um, I am also going to take some of the Merlot with a blender uh, smudger brush and Go underneath here because I have a thing with not being able to wear liner and mascara underneath my eyes anymore. Um, and so I literally just do a little bit of whatever color I'm using. And so now this is the fun part. Trying to do eyeliner in a camera look.
It is very quiet when trying to do eyeliner. This is our Mary Kay liquid eyeliner. It is the most amazing, easy to use eyeliner I've ever used in my life. My lips are feeling dry, so I'm just gonna put on some lip gloss for now. Oh, shaking stuff again. Okay, so next, I always take a Q-tip and just clean off my brows from any foundation that they might have got on. Perfect. Then we have our amazing precision brow liner. This is also a fun one to do in a camera. Little strokes. So I learned this amazing tip about brows years ago. Your brows are sisters, not twins. So they don't have to be identical. They just have to look like they're on the same face. And then I always take my fingers like this and hold them over because the warmth of your fingers will kind of just meld any spots that you have. Um, okay, so we've got primer on, lash primer brows and then of course when you do your lashes you want to kind of walk it out because if you just do one clamp at the beginning it just is like looks like you walked into a wall so you want to have a gradual curve um i want to do Just gonna take a little bit of the candlelight and go in here. I'm gonna do a before and after. I'm gonna do an actual after picture because when I look in my regular mirror, everything looks like it blends well, but in this camera lighting, I'm not sure why, but it looks a little less blended. So, okay, now time for mascara. Lash Intensity Mascara, amazing. Okay, so there's a couple different things to this wand. I don't know if we can see it. So, okay, there we go. So there's the short stubby side. There's a non-existent side of bristles and there's two long sides. So you're gonna take the short stubby side. And Put that on first. Pretty good, pretty good. We're gonna do this side. Many things that I love about this mascara, one of which is you can actually reapply more later and it doesn't go clumpy and nasty. So once you've done that, then you're gonna flip it over to the other side where the non-existent bristles are right here. You can kind of see that. But on either side, there's a long one. And so you're just gonna flip it around and use the long side to kind of fan out. So can you see a difference from one side to the other? It's like, crazy what that extra just flipping it over and using the long side to kind of fan them out make sure you get the little lashes in the corner and the outer corner and you can do as many coats of this as you want to it's pretty crazy
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to use my red lip liner because lips, we need lips. And I love red lips. So I line my lips completely. And then I'm just taking beach bronze of class. And there you have it. So closer, further. I'm gonna take a picture and do a before and after picture. And there you go. If you have any questions, let me know.